tell us in your understanding which are the principal factors that are at play at the FOMC meeting this time that uh, would uh, lead to the final decision that they take? Good evening, Vikram. Thank you so much for having me again. Um, so I think today what's more important actually than the Fed cut decision, which is very priced in by the markets already, market consensus say that it's going to be 25 basis point, but I think it's the forward guidance that we're looking towards today, especially from Powell's speech. Is he going to place importance on the NFP data that came in 12,000 jobs only um, for this month, or is he going to downplay it as it's because of the hurricanes and is he going to give us some hawkish signals as to whether we're going to see a December cut as well or we're going to see a less cut in uh, 2025 because um, there's also some market expectations happening that we're going to see a cut till three uh, 3.5% uh, percent instead of 3%. Percent. So this also plays a lot. And this is, I, I think, is relative to why gold prices have also dropped down um, other than Trump's policies and Trump's victory yesterday. But I think a lot to do with what's in focus today will be on um, Powell's speech, because after the rate cut, this could give... Um, this could impact the dollar uh, and the uh, weigh on it and uh, pressure it and also give gold a little bit of a boost. But then Powell, he may come and he may be super hawkish um, or even downplay the, uh, the the many rate cuts that we're going to see for 2025 and also till uh, December. And that may have the opposite impact, which the dollar will gain. And then gold prices will continue to go below the 2,650 handle. Nadia, as far as uh, the Trump victory is concerned, uh, that, more, that uh, certainly brought more power to the U.S. dollar. Now, with the Fed's decision, how it's likely to move uh, the currency markets and indeed the bond markets is certainly going to be what the markets are uh, watching very closely. Uh, how do you think the Trump victory is going to impact uh, the decision taken by the Fed this time? So for the impact for Trump's victory on financial markets, uh, as uh, labeled as the Trump trades, they've already been happening a week before Trump wins. I think a lot of markets, when, when they saw that Trump has been leading, um, sorry, a lot of investors, when they saw that Trump has been leading, um, they jumped to the Trump trades, which is buying the dollar and selling gold and also buying uh, major indices. We've seen S&P futures, uh, sorry, S&P 500 break record highs, Dow Jones Nasdaq all at uh, super high levels and nothing overbought right now. So I think that this rally could continue, especially as Trump's agenda comes with deregulation. It comes with um, tax cuts, which will uh, impact uh, companies uh, like uh, an, on a higher higher scale than we think because he's going to reduce or cut all these taxes for them to, uh, but the only thing that we were worried about is the tariffs, but we'll discuss that later. So I think that the three major indices can continue their bull run. Um, I think the only thing that uh, may impact the bull run is perhaps some weaker economic indicators. So in fact, if the non-farm payrolls for December do come down much lower than 100, Okay, then, then will you have a problem and they will be adjusting how many cuts we will have for uh, the remainder of the year. But for now, the job market seems resilient despite this month uh, job labor market data. And I think this is why markets are pricing and what's to happen tonight, what Powell will say. This is why the forward guidance is the most important thing that we're looking for today. Yes, indeed. Uh, but uh, already now that... Uh... The Fed has gone ahead in September with that bumper half a percentage point uh, cut. How has the economy done so far? Because uh, if we look at it in hindsight, a couple of months from now, after Trump uh, takes office, uh, it's going to be a pre-Trump and a post-Trump with uh, tariffs. And you did uh, allude to that. The fear is that uh, higher tariffs would mean it would lead to higher inflation in the American economy, something that the Fed would be wary about uh, how much is that going to play out now, perhaps later in December? How do you think it's going to play it so far? Just judging by what uh, the uh, half basis point uh, cut has done for uh, the American economy so far, the one that took place in September. 
So I think the rate cut that will happen in September fueled the market rally even further, fueled gold prices, fueled the major indices to new record highs. And it's definitely a good thing for the markets as uh, borrowing costs become less and they've cut in half, basically, from what we've seen, 5 point, uh, 525 and 550 to all the way to 3% anticipated and 3.5 uh, or 3.5%. So this will definitely uh, affect economic growth. It will kind of make more things flexible for people. They will be able to afford loans. Um, so I think the rate cuts have already helped, but I think we're going to see more of an impact next year. Uh, going back to the tariffs and the tax cuts, uh, the tariffs will um, ultimately increase inflation. And I think also um, there's a lot of speculation about buying the dollar because of uh, when the dollar will go down because of Trump's uh, agenda, which will eventually um, increase inflation uh, prices. So I think this is also why there's a lot of there's a little bit of volatility in the markets, as though the Trump trades are happening which is buying the dollar and uh, the uh, three major U uh, uh, U.S. indices and also uh, stocks, uh, on the other hand, and obviously tech stocks, um, there is still a, a speculation over whether this agenda and higher inflation will impact the bull run. And I think, in my opinion, it can impact, obviously, the, uh, the, the markets. But even though we had really high inflation levels, we had the bull run since 2023 based on great earnings, good economic data, great GDP. So a lot of other fundamental factors are still supporting the the, the bull run. So if we take one uh, factor out of the, let's say, top five, which is, for example, inflation, then yes, it could prompt a correction. And already we need a correction in the market. It's just about the timeline and when that's going to happen. In our part of the world, in India, we have moved past the euphoria of a Trump uh, victory. And now it's about... Uh, the trepidation of what uh, the Fed could bring on. Uh, but as far as emerging markets are concerned, now that uh, Trump is going to be in the Oval Office, uh, how do you think it's going to play out uh, with the Fed's decision this time around? What are the cues that uh, other central bankers are likely to take, like uh, the RBI in India? So we're already seeing a lot of rate cuts from global central banks. To, uh, we also had the Bank of England, the cut rates, despite... GDP being at zero, recession and uh, inflation being below the target at 1.7 percent. So um, a lot of factors play out in how central banks take the decisions. But if we look at Australia, you know, inflation is still running high, so they have a problem with cutting rates. So I think it's the same. Um, it's the same thing for every economy that they have to see their. After he takes office, I think a lot of even uh, uh, Taiwanese companies, they're going to relocate from China because to run away from the tariffs. And a, a lot of companies from China, they're going to have to relocate. So I think there's going to be a little bit of mix in the markets, and that's going to affect um, stocks as well. Here in India, we're talking a lot about capital flows and how uh, we are seeing that much more of the FII's really pull out of uh, Indian equities and uh, return uh, to uh, American shores. Do you think that is going to continue after the Fed decides its uh, next move? Look, for India, emerging as an emerging market, it's going to be a, a number one on top of the list. I, I think there's, especially with China unable to recover, there's a lot of outflows going from China and into India. So I think there's a big chance that foreign investment is going to increase in India. But of course, as Trump takes uh, office, there will be a lot of speculation over companies uh, migrating to the U.S. and benefiting there because his agenda is based on him impacting um, corporations for the better and promoting economic growth. So I think there's going to be a cyclical rotation, which is very healthy for the economy. And it's very, it's a very natural thing to see. And, and then later on, then we will go back to India. Perhaps uh, we will uh, circle in after the Fed uh, takes its call on uh, rate cuts. If it's going to be 25 basis points or not, uh, we're not uh, going to have to wait too long to find out. But Nadia Albalasi, it's always such a pleasure getting in your perspective. Thanks for uh, joining us tonight.